Over the last few years, pour-over coffee has exploded in popularity. Now pour-over drippers are found in coffee shops, on kitchen countertops, and even in backpacks to be taken camping. Of all the new brewers seeing their popularity increase during this movement, one seems to consistently be standing out from the rest, the Hario V60. The Hario V60 is a cone-shaped pour-over brewer with spire ribbed walls and a large hole at the bottom, where the filter slightly protrudes from. The ribs along the brewer walls are designed to allow for airflow between them and to keep the grounds away from the walls, leading to a more balanced extraction. With its signature ribbed walls and loop handle, this cone-shaped brewer has become not only a coffee shop staple, but an icon of the pour-over movement. Still, as home brewers, we're luckily spoiled for a choice when selecting new pieces for home brewing. So before you hop on the V60 bandwagon, Let's take a closer look on how it stacks up, starting with the pros and cons. Price, the V60 can be had from $7, $20 depending on which material brewer you choose. At less than $25, this is a fraction of the cost of most other home brewers. Material options, the V60 comes in plastic, glass, ceramic, and metal options. If you're absolutely terrified of breaking it, the plastic option will put your mind at ease. If you're looking for a sturdier build and solid heat retention, I prefer the ceramic and metal options. Now, if you trust yourself not to break it, the glass is a really great, sleek looking option as well. Easy to clean. Cleanup is incredibly easy with the V60. Just toss the filter, rinse and let it dry. There's no hard to reach places or pieces to disassemble. The not so good, steep learning curve for beginners. Unfortunately, the V60 isn't as forgiving as other pour over brewers. While the brewer lets you achieve great results, it's also more sensitive to things like pour precision, grind size, temp, etc. By no means do you need to be an expert barista to enjoy the V60, as plenty of first time home brewers swear by it. But when starting out, it's best to approach it with the expectation that there will be some trial and error. Requires time and attention. This is probably not an ideal option for anyone looking for rushing out the door before work brewer. Brewing with this drip requires you to be pretty hands-on, giving constant attention to pouring. Additionally, you can expect about three to four minutes of brew time with additional time for setup and clean out. Not great for groups because it really only makes one, two cups of coffee depending on which size you choose. The V60 isn't really the best option for entertaining guests or even sharing with a friend. So if you're the type of person who likes to brew a French press when you have company, the V60 doesn't provide you with a great alternative. Overall impressions. So now for the important question, how does it taste? The Hario V60 has a stellar reputation among everyone from coffee professionals to the most frugal home brewers. And honestly, it's extremely well deserved. The V60 is an absolute steal when you compare the quality of coffee you get for the price you pay. Your electric coffee maker may cost two or three times as much, but it's a safe bet that the V60 will have a collecting dust once you get a few practice reps in, with a little bit of trial and error. Along with implementing the Scott Rao V60 method, I've been able to achieve outstanding results with the V60. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.